Now to the life of a Bay Area teenager cut short, part of a troubling trend that the FBI is calling sextortion, and experts say they are seeing more and more of it. Yeah, the South Bay teen committed suicide in late February after interacting with a cyber scammer. Uh, Crime Force Justin Campbell sat down with his mom to find out how sextortion works and her message to other parents. They probably spent four or five hours getting, you know, just getting to know him and then a couple hours of pressure and he just couldn't um, handle the pressure so he took his life rather than see those pictures posted on the internet. Pauline Stewart says her 17 year old son Ryan Last had a good head on his shoulders. He was a member of the Future Farmers of America and ready to attend Washington State University until late February when a cyber scammer reached out to him. Stewart says the scammer posed as a woman sent Ryan a picture and Ryan sent one back. Then the scammer demanded $5,000. Ryan sent a fraction but it wasn't enough. The FBI says it's called sextortion and they are targeting young men through social media. Social media means everything to them. They uh, were in lockdown and that was their way to reach kids. Stewart says she had parental controls on her son's electronics, but parents must sit down with their kids. The message is talk to your kids about what um, they're, what apps they're on and they're, and also let them understand that not everybody that reaches out to them is who they say they are. The FBI says the scammers have been traced back to Africa, but for a mother in mourning, her new mission is educating other parents on sextortion. And so we just need to make sure that we educate and do all that for other people so that they can't do it to anybody else. Reporting in Morgan Hill, Justin Campbell, Cron 4 News.